70 years ago, London Transport and AEC was experimenting with lightweight type materials, something sustainable, something that will be easier. Born was the AEC Routemaster, which became from experimental to becoming a staple of London's culture. They are the backbone of London and partial England, loved by many drivers and tourists alike. On the 20th and the 21st of July, I travelled down to Chiswick, where they were holding a special event paying homage to the buses that used to dominate London for 70 years. Warm welcomes! You join me here at Chiswick! And the reason why I'm here is because they are hosting a 70th anniversary of these buses and you can tell from my face i am so excited like there's so many buses here look at this i mean he's taking a photo of route 88 i'm guessing this is his childhood no <laughs> i'm not from london i'm from milton Keynes. we didn't have buses like this oh i like that bag it's cool isn't it yeah <laughs> Oh, what is it's like, it's, a, it's like a Hyundai, it's a Hyundai uh, generator, so it fills it for the, the bigger bar bus and the VW helps it, so that's why they, they come together, so yeah. Ah, I know 10 years ago they held a um, Routemaster 60 in Finsbury Park. The what? The new showground. Are you just into buses or in like all the old stuff? I'm into buses and old stuff and trains, etc. Yeah. You go to. I've been to, into an old train station. Oh, which one? Uh, my dad. It's not an old train station, but it's like a. It's a where old trains are kept and like. It's like a bus museum, and but it's like a bus and train museum. Is it um Acton Museum Depot? They land on one of their buses. There's a Routemaster. Oh, it's Tim! 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 I know him. He's with Graham. He's with the Guinness World. He's with the Guinness World. No, that's what it is. He's got a Guinness one down there. Oh my god, look how old and uh, original. Like it's got all the paint. Oh, oh, I can smell. Oh. Can you smell that? <laughs> I'm not from London as well. So You're not from what? London, my dad is. Ah. Where, so where are you originally from then? Chesterfield. Chesterfield. We've ah. got three London buses. So we've got one route master, one metro bus and one Titan. Ah. So what we're doing is my sister's going to... My sister's going to own two of the buses, uh, rep, uh, it's the rep, she's going to own the Metro bus and the Titan, I forgot what they call it, she's definitely going to own the Route Master, she's converting the camper, she's converting the Metro bus or the uh, Titan into the camper, keeping the Route Master like that, and she's giving me one of the Titan, what the Titan or the Metro bus, whichever one that's turned into a camper, I'm not having that. Alright. Oh, I'm, I'm having a, me and my sister, my, si my sister's friend is driving the camper on, and me and my sister are driving just the original Metro bus and uh, Routemaster ones. So, yeah, it's quite fun actually. Yeah, you can see it down there, number 12. That's my dad's one. Is this your bus? Yeah, it's my bus. So, oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh my day, I'm just looking at the engine over here. Come and see. Oh! Oh, that smells a bit earthy. <laughs> Wait, 12X? What's with 12X? I don't know. Really. Well, I'm guessing it's an express route, 12X. Oxford Circus, Piccadilly Circus, Westminster.
Now we've got rock time. I'll do it. Uh, uh. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I'm gonna set the driver cab if you don't mind me yeah, doing it. I don't mind. Okay. Um, you know where I am actually? Where? We're going quite slow and we're either in London or we're in New York. I don't want to leave this, but I'm gonna have to move that in there. Oh, what's happened to this one there? There's not one there, that's just the pot. Oh. Sadly. Oh, don't worry. You like to sit on that? Yeah, I sit here. The engine's right here. What? Isn't that going to overheat though? No, it don't. It don't overheat. Because you've got fans up front and there's a little fan kind of here. Well, you just need to ensure you don't catch your feet on the wheels. Yeah, so I do this. Yeah, but then you have to hold on to this and then this. No, you don't. Because he doesn't care. Okay then. Really well, let's pray he doesn't. Let's pray you don't fall off. Anyways, let's do the tour of the um, the um driver's cab. Yeah. yeah. How'd you get it again? Oh, there's a pedal yep. right there. So what we do, we put our foot onto that pedal. Sure so you put your left foot into that pedal there. Yeah. So and then put your right foot onto the tire. Yeah. Oh, all like that. That's, that's good. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah? Huh? I drive this. What, you drive this? What? Oh, all right, I'm in. Yeah, so it's a semi-automatic, so... Semi-automatic. Um, so it doesn't have a clutch, but the gears are there. You don't, it's an automatic, but you can use gears if you want, but there's no clutch. Uh -huh. Handbrake's there, obviously, massive steering Obviously. Wheel. And to turn it on, it's there. Uh, Lights and both lights are there. Gear it, switch your ear. So if you look the oh, oh yeah, if you look here, uh -huh. it's a little indicator. You can see they're going now. So so what's this so, for then? What this? Yeah. That changes the thingy. The blinds at the top. Yeah. Okay then. Do you mind if I change the blinds or yeah, should no. I leave it? Yeah, they're moving. And then if you do it the other way, you change it back. I'll tell you when to stop. Where is it? I think we've past it. Wait, no, go up, go up. I can't see it. Where is it? What did it say? Alkali. Um, I think it said all the way Keep going up. Done. I have a question. How was the bus drivers meant to see the blind changing? Because I know on like new modern buses they had like an orange screen where you can look at the top where the blinds are changing. What they do, because they're normally in a factory or like a bus place, they get other people to stand out the front to get it on the thing. Oh. Or they had a little screen at the bottom. Uh, I'm pretty sure they had a screen on that magnifying glass. Mm -hmm. had a they could look up and it had like a mirror there and it showed the mirror and it showed it. Mm -hmm. Quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, this is very vintage. It's beautiful for a bus. This, this was just three grand. This bus is yeah, three this grand. Thing, this whole thing is just three grand. That's a bargain. Now it's four, now it's forty nine thousand. Yikes! Yeah. Well, you're selling this for forty nine thousand. No, we're keeping it, but it's if we did sell it, it would be over forty nine thousand. Wow. If you oh, climb up. <laughs> I'm too tall. What, what do I grab onto? <laughs> uh, you, you should be climbing up this way. Put your foot on there, put, put it on the tyre and then lean yourself down. Oh. Try like that. So put your right foot on the tyre, like the, the middle on it. Yeah. Wait, what? Do you want me to show you? How, how do I how do I get out? How do I Right, so lift your right foot up. Yeah. Put it down. 
on the onto this, yeah, and then put your left foot down. And then grab onto this with your hand. Start looking at me, grab onto that. There, there you go, and then basically jump. There you go. Oh, oh my god, that is hard. No. Without falling off. Well, I need to go down to Ooh. Oh, you got it back to Trafalgar Square? <laughs> Wait, when did they buy this bus? 20 years ago. So, around 2004. When when the London Routemasters were leaving um, London. That was in 2005. Yeah, because they were saying, oh, they're all going to scrap. Oh! So, my mum got this exact Routemaster. We've named it Red, and then... Um, do you have like a garage where you store these buses? Yeah, we've, got, we've got two, um, we've got two aircraft hangers. Ah. We've got two flight jet hangers. Mm. But about maybe one in Not one in Maybe you guys should start like a bus company, you know? We, we do rent out spaces. We rent out spaces for all the buses. The, the most amount of buses we've ever had on our land is about six. When this bus was on motion, passengers would normally just enter in the bus like this. Yeah, dogs are down there. Oh. Oh. I guess they're sleeping. And then you press this button here. Press the bell, and then got one here. Oh. So, so press once, request a bus stop. And then press, press twice, the, the bus is about to go. And then, and then you press three times that the bus is full. Yeah. yeah. There's one up here. If you hear as well, you might hear a buzzer. Ah! If you. Oh, the. There you go. Is that a buzzer? Yeah, it's a buzzer, wait. Oh. It's a buzzer, it's a buzzer in the, con in the drivers. Ah. So it's a stop. It's, so, it's, if you press it once, obviously it's a start. We have, we have our own codes. Wait, are you the guy that's from Rootmaster for Hire or something? Yeah, <gasps> I've watched your videos! Yes, I know who you are, Rootmaster for Hire. Yeah. You're the guys that were located in Wales. That's it, yeah. So, I heard you guys are coming back together and, you know, fixing more Rootmasters. So, how's it? I'm just so proud to see you here as well. I heard Dave has gone off sailing madness. Yeah, yeah, uh, Dave's here somewhere. What, Dave's here? Dave's here, yeah. Oh, I might get him in video as well. But I'm just, I'm just so, huh? Ah, all I can say is I'm just proud of your work so much. I'm just so proud of your work. Also, wait, what the heck is this? What, what is this? What? It's like a root master, but they took the top half off. Yeah, look, it's got lights, it's got a massive two inch on the back. It's got, look, you can see the parts. Yeah. How'd you get in the bus? Yeah, there's a back door, look. Oh, the back door? Sure. Yeah, look. Oh, you get in there. I look like, it's, is it a camper? It is a useful vehicle when we go to shows. <laughs> oh! I love this. Oh, so this used to be a double-decker Routemaster? Yes. But you just took the top half off? We didn't. It oh. was done in London. Three were tried. Oh! All three are different. Oh! Have you seen the towing edge? Yeah, the big towing thing under there. Yeah. <gasps> oh, right. okay. You're the guy from Rootmaster for Hire. Yes. I'm you. proud to see you here. Well, thank you very much. It's good to be here. I've been one of your fans of watching Rootmaster for Hire, and I can understand the struggles you've gone through in the past. So that's why you've decided to go off sailing madness. Yeah, that's right. How so? How is your sailboat? How is your um, sailing madness journey? Right. Well, it's going really well actually. Um, the boat is now in Scotland, so oh. we sold the boat up to Scotland. About two weeks ago, mm -hmm. yeah. and um, I had to come home for a wedding last weekend, uh, um, and then of course we've got room on 70 this weekend, and then after this finishes on Sunday, 
my wife and I are flying from Heathrow right up to Glasgow and we'll be back on the boat on Monday morning. And how far have you completed your um, sailing journey? Um, I've done a lot of day sails and I've done a lot of sailing around the UK. Um, the, the journey to the Caribbean is still planned, but there's no date for that yet. Do you have any plans of bringing back Routemaster for Hire in the future? Unfortunately not, no. Um, a lot of people have said to me over this day so far, you know, do I really sell my buses? And yeah, I do. I mean, maybe in hindsight I should have kept one, but to, to, to keep four would have been a bit greedy. So maybe, maybe one day I'll buy another bus and uh, we'll do some more videos on Routemaster for Hire. Well, thank you very much. That's all right, mate. No problem. Hey, is this is this your is this your bus? No, but I'm here on behalf of the owner. I've never seen this bus before. Uh, it started coming out last year after a long period of restoration. Huh. Normally the door would be at the back or not on these. Oh, the, there the were the, these these airways route masters. Now always does does it on like this. It's, it's got other differences as well. It's got a big. Do you mind if I have a look in for a quick? Yeah. Different, different seat maquette. It's Ooh. got a bigger engine. Um, this, we had this on the M1 at 60 mile an hour yesterday. Oh. We actually still had to spare. Man, okay. the driver's cab is on this side, obviously. Jesus, the ceiling is very low. <laughs> but it's self explanatory at the back here. The I'm really loving this seat maquette. Have you ever seen a Routemaster bus with the staircase at the front and the front door? Oh! Yeah, it's got a tow on the back. It's got a tow on the back. Yeah. Ah. Because yeah. I know, because I know these airport buses had like cargoes behind them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a towing hitch. Really nice, isn't it? Ah. Oh. So do I. The, um, the blue and white really yeah, suits yeah. very well. And the interior at the. <laughs> Wait, three lights, one, two, three here. And then you got two of them that side. Yeah. What, what's, what's with that extra light there? What the? Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Are you the owner of this bus? You just know. Oh, he just Makes knows sense. it. Yeah. It's a fog light? Oh. Did I forget? Not long after, uh, before these were introduced, that we had all the smog for London and people couldn't yeah. see where they were going. So they were worried about fog in London at that time. Ah. Upon further research, these BEA buses were very dominant compared to any other ordinary route master. They were equipped with higher gearing to do motorway speeds, since these were only airport shuttle routes by BEA, who had courtesy services between Heathrow and the West London Air Terminal. One unusual feature of the service was that the buses towed luggage trailers. British European Airways introduced the Routemaster fleet in 1966. Oh my, wait, wait what the? Where's the other half gone? Where's the other half? <laughs> the AEC. That's what changed London forever. That's right, yeah. All the way from the B type, you know. First yeah. World War, I'll put it that sort of front mm -hmm. line. X type 401, Regents, Artesian, London. Yeah. That route master right there is N90. That's the um, pre N279 bus route. <gasps> Wait, you're the one from the classroom on five? Farewell tour. Yep, indeed. <laughs> You're right. Oh my god, that is a flashback uh, 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 uh. since 2022. And this guy's got like a customer. Oh my days, what is this? New York, New York, New York subway. Oh, the New York subway. Yeah. I've never been to the States, oh, but. You do. <laughs> oh man. Well worth it. Go on it, mate. Go I on thought it. this was the tube map because I could it just is. flip it's it like this. It kind of looks like it. Comes you're very useful when you're there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello guys, hello again. So, uh... I'm living my life up on the H98 at the moment. I'm doing conducting. Oh yeah, I heard H98 has got LTs. um LTs now. I know, I'm conducting. Not a conductor? Yeah. yeah. 
What? Yes, I thought I thought they removed conductors on no. Boris buses in London. No conductor. There's two others. Oh, what a normal TFL service. Yeah. Two others are temporary and full time. Really? We already we've already bought three off the TFL. Oh really? That's one of them. Ah. We've got 1070, 680, and then we own uh, LTZ six. One six six eight, which is a LT six six eight. Jesus! Well, I'm proud. I'm very proud. I heard that those new Routemaster buses are getting replaced with those BYD electric buses. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna bleep that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. To put it in one word, they're crap. Oh! It's currently got Route one four eight. There you go, you can see through the window, you can walk all the way down. I mean, don't get on the bus. Walk down that way, you can have a look inside through the, through the windows. So, I mean, it's currently in original condition. This is refurb. Refurb. The seats, I know the seat maquettes have been refurbished. Now, a lot of you OGs will remember that um, back in 2015, or earlier than that, that um, some of these Boris buses in fact, no, all of the Boris buses had an Oyster card reader at the middle and at the back of the bus. It was until 2020 where they, where they just removed them because of fare evasion. Ooh. Now you can see through the back. Don't get on the bus. Ooh. See, normally the handrail would be here. Yeah, we've got and up the, Yeah, they, got, they removed it. You can open this as well. Oh, can I? Uh, I don't think... Oh, please open I it. So, do you mind if... I, I think you're supposed to hold this handrail whilst opening it. I don't think you are, but I don't know. No, because no, I've seen we'll, video... We'll leave it and stuff, so I don't want to get in trouble. I mean, it's owned by you, though. Yeah, we're in the process of it. Oh, oh, right. So how much did this cost? No idea. Oh. We're still in the process of uh, payments and stuff. But... Yeah. But hopefully you keep these paper blinds, hopefully. Because I know TFL might prohibit you from using those. Considering that they use LED bus blinds and they glitch out a lot, trust me. Is it wet paint? Yeah, they're not your usual standard uh, black one. Uh, that's, that's really good. I know. I heard. Um, I heard one of these Boris buses were converted electric. Yeah. It's L. Yeah, LT11. And speaking of 390, they still use the um, short prototype ST812, which used to be on Route 91. City Transport Info used to make a video about that route. She's the mayor of um, Hounslow. Hounslow. <laughs> Does Hounslow mean Hounslow? Hounslow means Felton to Chiswick, so we're in Hounslow Borough. <laughs> <laughs> Hounslow means Hounslow! Death to Ealing! Death to Hillington! I'm loving that Areva shirt and the tie as well! Oh, thank you, absolutely. The tie is very rare actually. They're, really? If you're interested, the tie was made in 1995 for London bus sales when they were trying to sell route masters off. Nobody would buy them in those days, most of them went for scrap. But, but my colleague was trying to sell route master buses and he had this tie made and I got one. But they're very, they're very rare now and there weren't many done. <laughs> oh. So the, you've, got, you've got the tie and the bad states from 1990. How lovely. You've got a tattoo over. Look at this. Look at that. I'm going for the best bus tattoo of the show. Including oh, Route nice. 2. Wait, there's a bus tattoo show? That's Only for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm going to win. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Route Master video without you oh, and your classic God. uniform. Thank you. Thank and even you, you got this fur machine as well. Yeah. 
Same as last time. Golden screen, you know. <laughs> and the Route 38 running day. Maybe you don't even mention that. Oh, what's this? Wait, that's a Leyland engine in a in a Route Master. They did, yes. Yeah, so many. So many Route Masters had Leyland engines. Why is there a Leyland Titan? Don't know. Royal appointment. <laughs> that's what they said. Oh. They said to me to bring all my friends as well to record it, but they haven't turned up, so I'm glad you're here. Get a oh, few yeah. pictures for me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I actually like these type of buses. I've never been, I've never been in one of these buses. I've never. No. So what's inside this bus? There's 72 seats inside this. 72 seats? Have a look at you one. Yeah. Oh. Go upstairs with birds up there. Just be careful what you say to them. <laughs> was that a parrot or was that a bird? No, it's a cock or two. Ooh. Jesus. Oh my, day. oh my God. <laughs> and then you can just press the bell. Oh, what the? It's not working. The stop bell's not working. No, because the engine's switched off. Ah. But normally it would light this thing up. It would light that up. Yeah, same rules apply though when the engine's Yeah, we used to have a guy in the racing. We used to have a block of And what's upstairs? Oh! Jesus. It's so strange to see um, a double decker. It's strange to see a staircase just looking like that. I don't think these buses had closed circuit televisions. And the wait, what the? Wait, why do these buses have stagecoach seat maquettes? What? 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 <laughs> yeah, the the stagecoach seat maquettes upstairs. Oh bloody hell! Yeah, we better change that. Yeah. We're gonna stop running after lines. Oh, all right. Well, I heard Stagecoach London are putting leather seats instead. Yeah, with, with bloody whips attached to them. Leather whips on the side of the seat for when couples get on the bus. They try to encourage, you know, like families to come out and travel on buses. <laughs> Thank you very much. No worries, mate. Anytime. Good to see you. It's good to see you too. Thank you. I mean, it's strange to see a Leyland Titan. If it's a Route Master themed event. Well, it was a Titan event, really, but they didn't get enough Titans, so they invited some Route Masters. Oh, oh. See? But people get confused about that because of the publicity. <laughs> That's the trouble. I'm just looking at the engine. Is this is this the um, original AEC or RM? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the original uh, engine. Is Great. this your Route Master? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Do yeah. you mind if I have a look around yeah, sure. inside the bus as well? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah. You kind of turned this route master into a home. Yeah, we had to have something. We have been living here for uh, almost a week now to come here. So. Oh. So it's uh, it's with a refrigerator and uh, some places to eat, and then we have uh, sleeping quarters in the in the top. Uh, so um, yeah. That's very creative. You think so? Yeah. The only thing it's missing is just the toilet. Wait, there's a toilet? Yeah, you go in and the first right. First right? Where? Where? Wait, what? Where? The hell? Right here. Oh, that's the portable toilet. Okay. So that's how you've been living. So that's how you've been and they've been living their life. Yeah, but we haven't used it. Huh? We never used the toilet. Oh. Well, that's, that's nice. Well, at least you're enjoying yourselves. Yeah. Where did you store your bus? Well, we're from Sweden. Oh. So we, have a, we have a big garage in Sweden. Ah. So is this shipped from Sweden? Ah. My dad and his uh, co mechanic uh, took, the, took the boat. From Gothenburg uh, on uh, Tuesday, oh. and then me and my brother flew in. It's interesting, really interesting. I got to say, I like, I, I'm, I'm, I like the idea. I love the idea of converting a route master into a home. Yeah, we, he, my dad tried to make it as uh, original as possible. So the tables and the seats here on the bottom can fold into a bed. Gosh, I think the toast is ready. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what's on news today? What's on the radio? Yeah, that's my dad made it. Uh, he found that old uh, radio and then he made it Bluetooth. So he has a Bluetooth speaker inside of that. Oh! And then he made it so the buttons on top work with the actual radio too. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Is there any updates on Route Master Fire? Uh, Route Master Fire is finished now altogether. So uh, Tim and I are doing our own videos now. Mm -hmm. uh, London Bus Restoration. Have a look for us on YouTube. I, I've checked, I've checked. Yeah. I have looked. Yeah, we, have, we haven't had a video for a couple of weeks now. We've both been up to our eyes doing stuff, but there is a new video coming soon. Do you plan to invite um, Dave one time? Or one oh, yeah, day? definitely. Yeah, we're still good friends. Yeah. Yeah, He's, I've seen him earlier, actually. Yeah, yeah I've seen him as well. Yeah, we've had a chat, yeah. So, yeah, there's no hard feelings. Yeah. I mean, I can understand the struggles and the um, the hard challenges you've overcome through Route Master Fire. Yeah. But yeah. you guys are resilient. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we were sad when it ended, of course we were, but, that one, you know, everything changes, doesn't it, eventually, so onwards and upwards. Yeah. Yeah.